right, so is your money in your 401k and other investment funds safe these days? Fox 5's Alison Morris tells us about a shocking security issue when you access those accounts online, which everyone does. Yet another thing to worry about when it comes to your retirement. Crazy. Exactly. This has nothing to do with the scare over, you know, the money you could be losing in the stock market right. this week. Total security issue. So people have a lot to worry about right now. Susan Antilla at the Street Foundation brought this issue to my attention, and it's a pretty scary one. You know those security questions you answer to access your online accounts? Well, some financial companies will let you in even if you get those answers wrong, mm. begging the question, is your money really safe? When you have those, you know, those personal security answers that you give, what's, what street did you grow up on? Um, she found out that you can put typographical errors one of one or two characters in those things and you can still get into your account. That's just one security problem a Vanguard employee reported to the Securities and Exchange Commission recently. Another issue came from a client trying to set up the voice verification system on his account. The man wanted to be sure that that couldn't be hacked and so he asked his son to call in and try to sound like him and his son was able to get right into his account. Susan Antilla details these security issues on thestreet.com. Don't believe that you can get into your financial accounts by giving incorrect information? Give it a shot. Go in and check and see if you can, you know, get past some of these uh, these security answers, even though you're putting typographical errors in. Antilla tried it with her Charles Schwab account and got right in. Both Schwab and Vanguard are big companies with excellent reputations. Vanguard has three trillion, with a TR, three trillion dollars um, under management. Um, they have 20 million customers, and 90% of those customers access their accounts online. Wherever your money is invested, make sure you know the company's security and fraud policy, or you could lose money. For example, Vanguard says your passwords must be at least eight characters, and they can't be passwords you use anywhere else. If you're doing any of those things and some money is taken out of your account online that's unauthorized, um, Vanguard does not have to honor that promise. That doesn't mean that they won't, but they don't have to. And be sure your password is original. When you have a password or a security answer, don't have it be something that you can find in a dictionary because people who try to crack passwords, they just, they'll put a computer program on and basically go through the entire dictionary. We reached out to Vanguard and they admitted that they give leeway for typos in responses to security questions, but they say user IDs and passwords must be exact. They've also introduced a two-step verification pro process for logging onto their site. And they say their clients' assets and confidential information are totally safe and secure. Charles Schwab has also upped its security game, adding new password protocols and security last month. I don't know about you guys, but I think it's really scary, though, to think you can maybe have a fat finger mistake, hit a couple of wrong things, and still might it be able to get through, through those It's answers. amazing how it seems like all these companies have to be dragged into updating the security, considering how important the information they're, you know, in charge of is. It, it, Nobody wants to be the first person to make it difficult to log into your account because they'll, they're afraid they'll lose customers, lose but money, right. you don't want to lose your money. Difficult True. is good. Yeah, yeah. I know, Thank right? You, we'll Allison. take it.